Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says two minutes to ten o'clock. Bit later than I had planned, but I got about a sneeze and about twenty minutes ago. That put paid to take one. Um, I have a cup of real with it here. Uh, honey, warm honey. I've been taking an odd bit, but the only thing about it is it fogs up the glasses. I've no wipers on the glasses. We'll get through it. And it was clear. The nose was clear all day, but it just hit me about half an hour ago. Whatever the hell is going on, I don't know. Anyway, back with a few for tomorrow after another good enough day driving a bus full of happy passengers up and down the highway. We were chugging along nicely in the middle lane. Uh, what took us off first was our place horse, exquisite acclaim. Said last night to step up and trip was an unknown. But he done all right. He battled to the line. He'd win a race. But probably the the uh, the hike and the weights uh, that nailed him. But he's still only a young horse. And I'd say he'd win a race again uh, in Dundalk over the winter. I'd say they'd probably campaign him again there. Then we had Bedford Flyer. 11 to 4, 3 to 1 uh, all day. Late money, 15 days. Hosed up. Uh, water always finds its own level so back to uh, the same uh, class 4 race, same rating 86, done the bizzo and I was in a bookie shop at the time and I meant to do the forecast but I was chatting to a fella um, and uh, I was saying we would win it I thought um, what had we then Oh yeah, we had an on-runner pretending faking him was called off. Uh, probably should never have been uh, started to begin with. And then we had William Twee absolutely hosed up. He was 11-2 to 2 last night um, but there was a rule for of uh, 20 cents I see on that because that was with uh, William Hill. Um, I don't know if I was pulled out or what price is it uh, but um, Put a bit of a hole in it, but it was the the four to one was uh, there was no rule for it after that. Uh, he's right, little horse, uh, William Twee. We'll get him again uh, over the winter. It you ha when you act well on that's a few horses we got lately at Kimpton. It's a sort of a specialist surface track, um, and the potential that he showed last year, the. Put him away probably just to give him a bit of time to himself and it paid off and Fanshaw's yard is, as I said last night, is going pretty well. A shout out to uh, Peter Bertels and his mum, Margaret Murray, Jonathan Conneen, uh, Tinson Travelace and a special shout out to the Bird Sweeney. Uh, the bird is uh, from Roscommon Town. He is plying his trade in the Midlands and England a number of years. I don't think I've met him in, a, I think, around Christmas. It could be 10 years ago, I think, was the last time I met him. But he's around the weekend, I was told, today in Roscommon, and they're heading to Galway on Saturday. I think he's the big 5 -0. And uh, John is gutted. He has to miss it. But... Uh, I said it'll be a good crack. He's a good character and he tunes in a lot of the time. Uh, Ray in Roscommon, uh, his, his uh, brother-in-law uh, does tell me. Um, so anyway, have a good night, uh, Emmett, and uh, maybe we might cross paths. I'll, I'll be in Galway Sunday. I'll be going up to Pierce Stadium to see my Colin and Cara Finn. Uh, probably coming home Sunday night but might go up on Monday like I did last year if they're victorious uh, the manager might call him Don Canellan is a very good friend of mine since 1994 so I wish them well um, where are we we have a few tomorrow uh, hard enough pick out a few tomorrow 
unlike Friday, I have 19 horses. At 11 before, uh, the track are all running. I see there's 19 declared on Friday between the flat and the jumps. So there'll be a lot of weeding out uh, to do. And we'll have the Breeders' Cup on as well. I have uh, <coughs> the Breeders' Cup. I have Friday night done. Done it last night uh, of the five races. Uh, so I'll be going at uh, tomorrow. Um, and I might do two videos on Saturday. Um, one for or Friday, for Friday night for Saturday. But I don't know. I'll see. Um, tomorrow... Uh, where are we here? We're at uh, Lingfield in one fifty-five. Nice little race. It's a class three. Uh, a horse that we backed on the flat before. Uh, they ran pretty decent. Uh, Havalia. Um. Uh, the reason the 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 last time we backed him was in uh, Goodwood. Rated seventy six, but uh, he's handicapped. He's well handicapped over hurdles. And if we go back to when he was second to uh, Spirit Denou in uh, last March in uh, Sandown, but the run that really caught my eye was the one beside uh, behind Blue Box Blue King Duro, and this was in the four year old. Uh, as a class two final race, but he was. 40 to 1 shot this day, but he, he done really well and he jumped really well. The likes of Mr. Freedom and Grappa Park Nadine was in, in behind. Needs more. Hey, Vala's there as well. Then to the outside, Punta del Est and Grappa Nonino over the second last flight of hurdles. Then we've got Mr. Freedom trying to work his way through between runners as they head now down towards the last flight. Blue King Duro is the leader from Affadil in second place. Paul Nichols 1-2 at the moment. Hey, Vala's back in third. That was the final flight of hurdles. Blue King Duro and Angus Chileda is about four lengths in front. Affadil and Hey, Vala running a screamer on the far side. Mr. Freedom's back in fourth but running onto the line Blue King Duro carries a big weight to victory it's tight for second place as Hevala and Affidil if you consider that Affidil came out and hosed up the next time the next run and uh, Blue King Duro came back and won first time out they were racing in the 120s 127, 121 went up two pound for that effort he has had uh, three runs since then on the flat uh, second to well, he hosed up in a Munian in a in a fake and a maiden hurl, but a uh, rate of 75 and 76, sixth and uh, and second, good enough run the last day. If you add 76 to what 40, you've won 16, so he's well handicapped, you know, to the degree of eight or ten pounds, you'd imagine. Uh, there's a few like the likes of Gordanti that showed potential before. Uh, I think we went on it last year, first time out, but it ran terrible from his fifth. It won a race all right. Uh, back from wind surgery, York Sea was ahead of us the last day, but we were only uh, getting or given a couple of pounds. There's only a couple of pounds of the difference, but there's uh, fifteen now. Uh, I'd be hoping that as a four year old would would Harry Cobden up. Could do the bizzo tomorrow. It opened up four to one. There is money for it. It's gone into five to two now. Um, I didn't know that. No, I, I, the last time I looked was uh, three to one and a hundred to thirty. It's gone into five to two. So that is a bet tomorrow. Then the two forty at Thurless. Uh, Horse there, a lightly raced horse, Destiavel, uh, improved a good bit on his last two runs. The 92 shot with 3.65 and his 3 to 1 with the other <coughs> bookies. But it, it didn't do a lot for a long time, as you can see by the prices 100 to 1 and 125 to 1 and 150 to 1. But since August, uh, it was third <coughs> in, in uh, Kilbegan. 
uh, at 66 to 1. But the last day, it caught my eye big time. Uh, he was fifth or sixth year coming around the turn for home. Side of a bump to long, the red and black. Here on the outside is Trench Town Rock. Behind them, star official, then up she flew and Desti Bell. As they jump to second last flight, not much to choose between the leading pair. Outdoor Muzzy on the far side say it's so. Trench Town Rock driven, star official coming there now with the white cap and behind him staying on the red and black of Desti Bell. But heading for the final flight, star official picks up on the near side to head Outdoor Muzzy. Desti Bell is closing away from the final flight. Star official going on. Desti Bell stays on on the outside of Outdoor Muzzy in third and they're clear. Less than 100 yards to race. Star official and Danny Mullins out in front will win. For Dick Donahue, star official beats Destival in third spot. If he keeps him a bit closer to the pace, and he got a bit ergy bergy there uh, um, when he was making his run to the to his left, and he got he had to go to the right. Uh, Brownstone won the last day. Um, he had run disappointingly when he was over in Perth. Uh, I'd have marked out Destival as a what is ninety two five to one as an each way bet. It's gone shorter than that now, so it'll have to be a win bet. And then we go to the goo. Uh, for newcomers, that is the artificial surface. Uh, there's one here that <coughs> I think is sort of well handicapped. Dragon Ball Prince, a three-year-old gelding by Dragon Pulse for Hugh Palmer. If you look at a couple of its runs, uh, they are to second in uh, Foss Lass on soft ground to Tarbert Ness. Tarbert Ness won uh, yesterday uh, to second to Manxman. Manxman was uh, winning. That was uh, a four-timer for him at the time, that run. Uh, and the last day, the two miles two, probably at Pontefract, was a bit too much. Was decent horses in that field. Colt Henry there, who disappointed on the on the heavy ground yesterday with Mooka Magic in behind. Um uh, and hasn't ran on the surface, but has ran pretty good on soft ground and good to soft. So the surface shouldn't be a problem you'd imagine, but it's always risky when they haven't ran on it uh, to tell us that they like it. There's the the three and there's a an outsider to the twelve to one shot. It's into tens now. I see is uh, mid Mitiva. This is a lightly raced horse. She's actually a, a half sister to Mister Coffee, and it won a bumper first time out. In, was it in Cork? No, in Thurles. So back to the scene of the crime tomorrow. Uh, then two nice runs uh, over hurls. Third to Fascinating Shadow. Second to Return to Base. But off second favourite both times for those. Last March went off favourite and it disappointed in Gordon. Just put away them. But that was done soft to heavy. Um. Uh, Spin in a handicap hurdle race then at uh, one out rating of one or two, but the last day it was eleven to two into seven to two, and it's in the JP colours. Uh, it got shuffled back before the turn to uh, sort of last place, so it had to make up a bit of ground. Uh, but it ran on Running, fairly well. I say it first, then Cottage Artist on the inside ridden. Princess Sophia, then Bellaby Gooden, Nurse Garvey, and Mativa next. Phantom Magic is drifting back, and then Say Rion, who's trying to stay on in the middle of the track. The two to jump is Banneter Bridge, and Say it first, one and two, followed by Princess Sophia. Coming again is Mativa in the white cap, having lost her position about half a mile from the finish, and then Cottage Artist and Say Rion, a very bad mistake by Ken Dog, who went to take the flight with her. Down to the last, and it's Say it first, laying it down. To Banada Bridge, and at the last, it's Say It First Fraction. From on the inside is Banada Bridge, six clear of Say Rion Mativa, and then Princess Sophia locked together. On the inside, Banada Bridge, Say It First, the nearest line. There's nothing between them, close to the line. Say It First, just from. 
when the chance was gone, he wasn't too hard on it, and it uh, made a horlix of the last hurl. Um, the right favourite is there at time to dream. That actually hosed up in the stall, but to the race that you know it travelled well through the race. Uh, but to the day there was mayhem with a heap of fallers that day. Uh, it was up eleven pound for that. If it runs the way it did run that day, uh, it'll be hard to beat. But I, with them paying four places, uh, I that picked out of twelve rounds. A bit of money for it, so we'll see. It might run into a place, but uh, I wouldn't be sticking them four together. The the, the first three would be, uh, sorry, you could stick them together. But whatever you like, you know yourselves. Your your. You're smart enough at the game. Well, we see. Time to get out of here now. It's quarter past ten nearly. We'll get this into the oven. I will be back tomorrow night. I might come on earlier with the with the Breeders' Cup. I'll, I'll see. Uh, busy two, two or three busy days coming up now. And it's a pity. Down Royal is off. So I had planned to go on Saturday. So... That journey won't be made now, so I don't know what the plans are. It's on the following weekend now. So uh, I think Cheltenham is on the following weekend too, is it? It'll be busy. So, Shane A. Bash the bookies over and out.